willing to express my condolences. I can't even imagine what you're feeling right now. Thank you, Henry. Without a doubt, this is a tragedy. I'm sorry, William. If there's anything I can do... It's too late for that. It's too late for everything. I know. I've lost people, too. I know what it feels like to feel that the world is coming to an end. No, you don't. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. You have a perfect life. You're a happy family. You don't know anything. You don't know how I feel right now. I'm sorry, William. I, I just... Enough! Enough! You can't even imagine what's happening to me right now. I understand that you're going through a difficult time, William, but please don't do anything rash. It won't solve anything! You're right, Henry. It won't solve anything. But I'm not interested in solving anything. I'm interested in... Revenge. What do you mean? You have it all, don't you, Henry? A happy family, a fulfilling life, and yet, fate strikes without warning. William, I know. I'm truly sorry about what happened. Is there anything I can do to help? No. There's nothing you or anyone can do. But there are things that must be done. What things, William? That's not for you to worry about, Henry. Just remember this. Every action has a consequence. And some consequences are more dire than others. Hello? Hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, um, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? I just finished checking the CCTV camera footage and everything seems to be in order. You're doing great so far, but I need you to stay alert. We can't let anything go wrong, especially now. Now listen, I know things have been a bit strange lately. The building and the other restaurants are closed, and the police are still investigating the disappearance of around six children. It's a serious matter, and we're doing everything we can to help the authorities. Yet for some reason, police seem to think we're covering up evidence. But let me tell you something, that's not possible unless someone from our company is involved. And I can assure you, we're not involved in any way. For Christ's sake, one of those children belongs to one of the founders of this place. The poor kid disappeared about a month ago. It breaks my heart to think about it. We will get to the bottom of this, though. Whoever is behind these incidents will pay if something bad happened to those kids, and for the damage they've done to our company's reputation. You can count on that. In the meantime, keep up the good work. Check on those animatronics and let's finish this week strong. And when this is all over, mark my words, we'll take this company to new heights. We'll have entire malls dedicated to our lovable characters. <sighs> the future's looking bright, my friend. Anyway, I gotta run to the cinema to catch Electric Eel 2. The Slithering. Love the first one, you know. <laughs> Alright, good luck tonight, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow.
has been many years since the incident that changed everything. I have done unforgivable things since then. The missing children. It was all my doing. But do not mistake my confidence for remorse, for I am not sorry. My animatronics were always meant to be more than mere entertainers. They were created to wield fear, to evoke terror, and bring forth the ultimate consequence, death. Oh, Elizabeth, my sweet Elizabeth. She failed to listen to me, and she became the unfortunate victim of a programming error, a mere flaw in my creation. But I could not bear the burden of responsibility for that would tarnish my flawless image. Instead, I pushed the blame away onto others, for I could not admit fault. And then there was Charlotte, Henry's daughter. I could not bear to see him bask in all his happiness and receive all the credit for our work. My jealousy consumed me. And I had to take matters into my own hands. Do not think for a moment that I fear the consequences of my actions. I am not guilty, not in my mind. I meticulously crafted the evidence to make it appear as though Henry was the one responsible, for I had bigger plans in mind. Plans that require my full attention and dedication. I have built a new place for my new creations, a place that will instill wonder and fear into the heart of all who bear witness. And soon, I will reveal what is coming next.
Have a great time.